Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see what a small case investing is and how a small case investing is uh, different to your uh, stock market investing. So uh, we all would be invested in the stock market. Uh, the methods which we normally use to become uh, rich really faster is your uh, uh, intraday trading or your FNO trading. So this is something which I would uh, strictly advise you not to get into unless and until you know the intricacies of the stock market because um, you guys would have already noted like any uh, DMAT application, um, any stock broker app you try to open, be it up stocks or zero, the first thing that shows up is uh, the alert of uh, the risk which is involved in your intraday or in your FNO or in your derivative markets. So that's the first method which we try. So I would strictly advise you not to get into that. The second method which we try to do is uh, we go into the uh, conventional way of uh, swing trading where we try to acquire positions of a stock and uh, we try to retain it for a particular uh, period of time. We try to retain them for a swing for its uptrend and then like we book the profits when it has reached its uh, fullest and then like we reap the benefits out of it. Or the most uh, safe and effective way if at all you wanted to be like 100% safe when you are like very clear that uh, when you know that you are not an expert in picking up your stocks, we go to the conventional way of uh, buying up mutual funds where a mutual fund manager takes care of all the purchases and selling of these uh, equities and they manage up um, a pool of stocks into a collection of uh, entity. There are a lot of uh, mutual funds which are available in the market. There are over uh, 60 plus AMCs which are available. So you have like a Nippon mutual fund, you have Quant, you've got HDFCs, you've got uh, ICICI, there are a lot of uh, AMC players in the market and there are a lot of mutual funds also which are segregated across different categories. You've got a large cap fund, a mid cap, then you've got a small cap fund as well. Then there are sectoral funds as well. We call them as like thematic funds which could be like related to your IT or into your EV or into your uh, oil and gas or your PSU. So different kind of uh, thematic uh, mutual funds are also available in, in the market. So besides these two methods of uh, investing in the stock market, we've got a new way or um, this has been in the market for almost two plus years, almost three years I would say. We call that a small case investing where there's a, a portfolio of stocks which are put together under a basket. So you try to buy the basket and like you try to reap the benefits of this. So the difference of this small case when compared to your uh, traditional way of uh, buying of uh, equities or your mutual funds is that like you have uh, the uh, complete control over the stock that you're going to buy. So in the mutual fund way of buying a stock, you may not be like the, though the uh, mutual fund company gives you the uh, portfolio of their composition, like what all they are buying their uh, equity purchases and stuff, you may not know like how much percentage is being like uh, under your name and stuff. So this uh, small case beats up that where you get to see exactly what is your portfolio stand, like what exactly do you hold in the equity and you'll be able to see what percentage of each equity is being held. Say for example, you've got HDFC bank in your portfolio, you'll be able to see what is the composition of uh, HDFC in your portfolio. So you'll be able to adjust these weightage of this and you'll be able to like control them as well. So that gives you a complete transparency of the uh, list of stocks in your portfolio. And uh, besides that, you also get to see uh, the uh, benefits of these stocks, which means uh, um, in your mutual fund companies, you will not be able to get the dividends and stuff, whatever the company is like issuing. And uh, in the case of a small case, what happens is you actually get the uh, mutual funds, the dividends of those uh, uh, scripts, whichever you hold in your accounts, getting credited into your uh, accounts directly. So that's one of the important feature or the coolest feature which is available in small case. Then the third feature which I would say is that like uh, in your mutual fund, uh, whenever there is an update or something, you will not be like even notified of it because the um, fund manager automatically take care of all the uh, rebalancing or uh, buying of scripts and selling of the scripts. So it, it becomes like uh, no nuisance for us. It's like completely like you just invest it once or you make it as a uh, SAP every month and it automatically goes on. But in the case of a small case, you get a rebalance notification every now and then, whichever script is going to perform good in the market. So you get an alert from the small case stating that like you can, uh, you have to like update your portfolio and stuff. In the further part of the video, I'm going to show you like how it all works and how it's all going to function and stuff. And uh, it's going to be like as a one click method. So you, there'll be a compilation of our portfolio of stocks where you uh, can like you put together into a basket. Say for example, if I'm going to buy an HDFC uh, portfolio, then I get to uh, buy anything related with HDFC. If it's going to be a Tata portfolio, I'm, I'm trying to buy 
uh, all the best stocks of Tata put under one basket. So, and when I just click on a button, it automatically buys up all of them under a composition like whatever percentage or the weightage they want to give into it. And uh, you'll be able to automatically acquire them. So if you in the see this in the screen here, you'll be able to see that um, there are a lot of small cases available and it's been tied up with almost all the stock brokers in India. Okay, say for example, I'm seeing the list of small cases available here. So when I click on uh, them, you'll be able to see there's a traditional method of uh, buying in uh, like where your funds has been put into equity and gold. So this is like when you click on this, you'll be able to see that um, this is given a CAGR of 16% for the past five years. And you can also see that this got almost uh, the ETFs or the weights in it is going to be, um, I'll be logging into this account so that you see exactly how it is like composition. And uh, the minimum investment required is like just 371 rupees. Uh, in the case of your uh, mutual funds, you have a minimum of 1000 rupees at least for your lump sum. And uh, the other ones are like, going to be like starting up with 100 rupees. Here you got like minimum uh, uh, price investment amount required for every small case. Okay, now you can see here in my account, I've logged into my account, you'll be able to see that there is equity and gold. That's the most uh, widely been used. You could see that uh, the minimum investment for that is like 371 rupees. And it shows up a chart where uh, how it's performing alongside your equity large cap. So the safest method would be is to invest in your large cap, but you could see here how it is like performing better than your large cap. You could also see the composition of it. It shows there are two ETFs which are involved in it. So one is going to be your gold bees, another is going to be your nifty 50 bees. So this gets rebalanced uh, every uh, quarter. You could see here like there's a rebalance notification given and the weightage is here. So the next uh, quarter when you're trying to update, there'll be a different in the composition of the ETF. Also the weightage also will differ. And uh, when you click on invest now, it will just click on this and you'll be able to uh, see an option that shows up here. Do you want it as a one time or do you want it to go as a SIP? So here it's asking me to log in with my uh, DMAT account. So I'm logging with my DMAT account. So and uh, I go with my logins. And once I log in here, you'll be able to see that um, it shows that uh, how do you want to invest? If it's want, going to be a one time investment, say for example, you want to put it as a lump sum or if you wanted to go it as like one sum plus uh, SIP. So confirm your order type. So I'm, I'm stating, say for example, I want to invest like 10,000 or 15,000 to start with. And uh, the SIP amount is going to be 5,000 every month. You can choose the option here, like how you wanted to invest in this. And when you click on confirm details, you will be able to see here that weightage is like automatically getting adjusted here. And when you click on confirm details, it will automatically make a purchase on this. So it shows the uh, total amount of investment that's needed here. And when you click on place orders, with one click of a button, the entire uh, thing is getting up added up here. The same way it is going to be for your uh, different small cases as well. So you could click on all small cases and you'll be able to see a whole list of small cases that's been showing up here. And uh, you can see that there are a lot of uh, free small cases and there are some paid ones as well. So first we'll see what are free small cases. So the free small case is something that's been put together under uh, one uh, group where uh, everything is like free. You can just try and uh, start investing on them right away just you have to just link in your uh, dmat account and it automatically gets started so this is one of the most coolest one i would advise you to get into this that's your uh, all weather investing so irrespective of your market conditions be it corona or be it, be it whatever it is this is going to give up uh, better returns this is giving like 12.7 percent so that's definitely better than your fd and you see that the minimum requirement investment is like almost like close to 3000 rupees it shows that uh, there are like four etfs which are involved in it so that's going to be one debt fund. So and there is one gold bees as well. Then there's going to be like Nifty 50 as well as the next Nifty 50 as well. So this is the composition of different things. So that's going to give you a better return on your investment as well. Then if you have a um, like a better uh, appetite or your investment is like you're take up uh, ready to take up a little bit of a risk, you can go for a high or a medium volatility. If your investment is going to be more, you can go for another uh, category as well. There you'll be able to see a lot of um, things showing up here and uh, you can try and choose like say for example house of tata is one such fund which i've used in the past and uh, i'm still using this as well i'll show it on the screen now i click on house of tata you could see here it shows up the uh, stocks and weights you'll be able to see uh, there are nine stocks which are put together and there's a quarterly rebalance that happens so every quarter there is a rebalance happening on this and you'll be able to see there are a lot of sectors which are put together so there are so many um, 
uh, segments which are being put together so you need not worry about the market uh, volatility so each and everything is like from a different sector so whenever there is a sector cycle happening as well you will not be uh, you will be able to average out everything and you will be able to get the uh, the corresponding CAGR which they have like promised so it has given up a CAGR of 33 percent so this is something which is like uh, not something achievable or possible in your mutual funds as well so mutual funds maximum gives you almost about uh, 20% or 24% of the max, the small cap funds, I would say. But on a long run, even that goes up to like 18%, I would say. But here, this is going to give you like the 33% of CAGR. This is tried and tested. I have my own investments as well in this. So this is the house of Tata. You could see here that um, I've got almost um, a returns of over 51% in this financial year and the XARR is like 25%. So you could see that uh, I've been investing in this fund since 2021. So you could see here uh, the current value of this fund. You can, you'll be able to see like what is the current portfolio composition and you'll be able to see a list of almost all the uh, stocks that are in my, for example, Tata Power has like performed over uh, 108% and um, Indian Hotels has performed over 73% and stuff. So each and every uh, rebalance, whenever it happens, it will automatically, um, when you click on a button, it will automatically adjust according to your uh, investment and it will uh, make the purchase. So when you click on invest more, it will ask you for uh, you to connect to your DMAT account once again. And after you have done with that, I'll connect to my account now. So after I'm connecting to my account, you'll be able to see that it shows up uh, the minimum investment for this is like 7,700. So I'm paying up my amount. And when I click on confirm details, it adds up, uh, ask you to add up funds to your DMAT account. And then you'll be able to see the portfolio getting updated here. And you'll be able to click on invest more as well. You can set it as a SIP so that you can pay it every weekly or every bi-weekly or once in a month as well. And if at all you plan to invest as like one lump sum as well, you can click on invest more and you can see the portfolio composition here. It automatically gets added up and all the uh, things get uh, um, added up here at one go. And when you click on edit SIP, you can see the options. Uh, you can change your uh, frequency of the payment as well. And at any point of time when you wanted to sell a script as well, you just click on like exit position. It will automatically exit all of your scripts and uh, you'll, the funds will automatically get credited into your account. And this is uh, one such script and you could also see here uh, when you click on discover and if you happen to see all small cases. If you just click on house of, uh, there are a lot of house as well. You could see house of Tata is here, then house of HDFC, Mahindra and Bajaj group and stuff. When I click on house of Mahindra, you could see all the companies that list are uh, listed under the Mahindra group. You'll be able to see here there is an IT, there's real estate, then consumer finance, four wheelers and stuff. So different categories are put together under one basket, which is House of Tata. So there are a lot of houses available here. So you can see or you can sort them as per your uh, requirement uh, or you can sort them as per the, uh, um, the returns, what they have performed and stuff. So when you click on the one year uh, CAGR, you'll be able to see a lot of funds which are showing up. That's given over 100 plus returns in this one last financial year. So this is something which is practically not possible at all in your mutual funds. There are mutual funds which has given over like 50-60%, maybe like Quant has given up that. But this is something which beats even your mutual funds as well. So this is one of the uh, easiest or the coolest way to get invested in this. So these are some of the funds which are free. But when you click on your fee base, those are funds that are going to give you like even better returns. So when you click on this, uh, you'll be able to see um, this fund, for example, mid and small cap fund is something that's given over 110% of returns. And you can also uh, bookmark and you can like watch them as well. You can see how these funds are like performed and stuff. Or you can also like uh, sort out depending on your investment strategy as well. You can choose uh, what kind of uh, investment you want to go with. So these are some of the funds which I have bookmarked and I've been absorbing them for quite some time now. And I try to invest on all of these and stuff. So when you click on this watch list, you'll be able to see that uh, since I've been like watching this since last year, so for the past uh, four months, it's given like 15% of returns. And this is given for the past seven months. So this way you'll be able to evaluate how a fund is performing before you get into them actually. So this per, uh, green energy I've been observing since uh, 2023, it's given like 114% for the past one year. So same way you'll be able to evaluate their daily change as well. So how it's performing every day wise. And besides that, you can also create your own uh, watch list as well. Say for example, I've got some of the drafts here. So um, you can just rename them. I'm just trying to uh, customize it or um, click on this. You'll be able to see that if you find some of the scripts which are like better in the market, you try to add them. 
So for example, I wanted to add up a company here um, named uh, IOCL. So click on IOC. You will be able to even lock your scripts as well. So when it, uh, you can give the weightage to them, like how much percentage allocation you want to in this. So depending on that, your value will automatically get it added up. So this is a script which I have created up and I'm observing them, how they are performing in the uh, past uh, 10 days. And I see how much returns they are able to produce. The same way you'll be able to uh, classify them like different uh, scripts which are there. So there is one such which I did last year, uh, in the last financial year. And that's performed in this financial year almost 157%. So the last year's the growth is like 157%. So the same way you'll be able to evaluate your own scripts and create your own uh, um, draft list as well and you can start investing now. Say for example, I want to invest on this, click on invest now. It will automatically start like asking you like what's the type of investment you want. So if for example, I took one time, then it shows like how much you have to like invest in all of these and you just press confirm, it automatically goes to it. So small case is like one of the easiest and coolest way of investing in the stock market. And the thing is like when you click on this investment tabs, you will be able to see the uh, list of uh, small cases that you have subscribed to, if you have opted for your uh, paid membership, or the free ones that you will be able to see here. I'm not able to show my portfolio here because uh, there are some of these uh, paid membership also which are involved in this. I don't want to show any of these uh, companies uh, portfolio allocation as well. So uh, you can click on uh, discover and you'll be able to see uh, the mutual fund managers as well. So these are like uh, companies or individuals who are like uh, SEBI registered and who've got like different kind of uh, mutual funds listed under, the, under them. So this uh, Niveshai is like one of the best ones and uh, you've got uh, Weekend Investing. They do a great job of uh, providing you some of these small cases. So you could see here, uh, this is one of one such that I've subscribed to then there is like all cap, then there is like small cap. So different categories are there, along with the CAGR that they have provided as well. Then you've got uh, Nevishai, they have given up uh, green energy. This is one of the very famous and most invested uh, um, small case in the industry. Then there are like a lot of things which are available here. So this mid and small cap, this is again from Nivesha only. So these are like different kinds of mutual funds, so you um, different kinds of small cases which you will be able to like evaluate and see how they are performing in the uh, market and you can choose the best ones depending on your risk appetite and you can get started with this. So I'll leave the link below for you to like just uh, register up to a uh, small case. Coming to the charges that are involved in this, so coming um, in your uh, mutual fund, you are definitely going to pay as an expense ratio. There is nothing here as expense ratio. Instead, you're just going to pay for your uh, brokerage as well as your STT charges. So any amount that you're going to invest less than um, 4,000, you're just going to spend 2.5% uh, of your investment value along with the GST. And if it is going to be like over 4,000 rupees, then it is going to be uh, 100 rupees plus GST. That's the only price that's going to be involved. And uh, in case of your mutual fund, there is something called as an exit load, which is there. But in case of a small case, there's nothing as an exit, uh, exit load. So when you compare with your mutual fund way, which we consider as one of the conventional or the traditional method or the safest way of uh, saving and investing, a small case stands uh, upper hand against it and it's like definitely an easiest and quickest way to make your extra money. The thing is like it is totally risk free and it is like totally uh, economical and it is like as simple as that. Just click off a button, everything is like automated. So. I'm, again, I'm leaving my link below. You can just register for an account and you can start your investment journey with the help of small case. And you'll be able to evaluate how it is performing against your mutual fund. And if you like this video, do share it with your friends and uh, just educate to all those who are into mutual fund investing. Make them get started with the small case investing as well. And uh, do smack the like button as well. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.